in any realm mastery comes from practice when we were little children and we strive to stand up for the first time despite our best efforts we collapsed but we did not give up we tried again and again until we mastered standing similarly this is the repeated practice that we will have to do on the path of spiritual transformation Yesterday I had explained the process of roop dhyan meditation using the image of the lord as the basis of our meditational practice Now people come and say I tried it but I could not succeed Why I took my mind to god but it came away into the world when this happens we must not feel discouraged arjun the listener of the bhagavad gita he questioned lord krishna he said oh lord this mind is extremely restless in fact it seems to be more difficult to control than the wind Shri Krishna did not dismiss his problem. Arjun, what are you talking about? Instead, he said, "Asanshayam mahabaho mano durnigraham chalam abhyase na tu kaunte vairagya na chagrihyate." Arjun, what you are describing is undoubtedly right. The mind is indeed difficult to control, but it can be harnessed by detachment and practice let us see how this process works you take your mind away from the world this is detachment absorb it in god this is the practice in both these works effort is required However the third work happens by itself what is that the mind comes away from god and back into the world why does that happen because the mind is material and the material mind naturally goes towards the world to take it towards god requires effort just like for an object to drop is effortless to throw it up requires energy so when the mind comes off we must not feel discouraged again take it away from the world again absorb it in god it has come off again take it away again absorb it it has come off again take it away again absorb it. This is the repeated practice that we will have to do when we tighten our belts and move ahead with determination on the path of spiritual transformation. What is this? Well, we have forgotten. When we were little children and we strive to stand up for the first time, we struggle similarly and despite our best efforts we collapsed but we did not give up we tried again and again until we mastered standing and then when we took our first few steps again we fell but we kept on and we became better and better until we were walking and running and some people even reached the proficiency of winning medals in olympics in any realm mastery comes from practice as the saying goes practice makes perfect remember the first time we began typing it took us so long to type the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog 
However, as we continued practice, in a year's time, we were typing at the speed of 80 words a minute. Now, if somebody doesn't know the secret and sees another typing at that speed, he will be astonished. How come his fingers fly so rapidly on this typewriter? Does he have some Siddhi, mystic ability? It is no Siddhi. It is merely the consequence of one year of practice. When we go to the circus, we see these astonishing acrobats walking on the tightrope with a plate on top of that a cup, on that top of that a plate, again a cup, again a plate, again a cup. How do they do it? It is all the consequence of repetition. Hence, the Yog Darshan 2 states, Abhyasa Vairagya Abhyam Tan Nirodha. It is through detachment and practice that you will achieve that perfection. In other words, there is no substitute to practice. And when we strive hard in our Abhyas, we then draw the grace of God, which brings our efforts to consummation. So the message for today then is to engage in repeated practice of the tools that we have learned till date without getting discouraged, knowing fully well that mastery will come through repetition. We will move ahead from here tomorrow. Most of us find it difficult to learn or practice spirituality on a daily basis in a systematic way. In daily sadhana, Swami Mukundanand will be your personal spiritual coach and will help you learn and practice spirituality every day in a structured and engaging manner. Visit mydailysadhana.org to learn more and start your spiritual practice today.